It's Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. I always give a disclaimer. I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough, and I've got a special challenge. I want everybody, everybody, it's just a 10-second smile challenge. Just 10 measly seconds. See, listen, we're going to talk about this thing called a smile. And I, by the way, I need you to let me know where you're zooming in from. If you zoom in, in the chat, let me know where you're zooming in from. If you're on uh, face, uh, YouTube, of course you can't, but if you're on Facebook, let me know where you're zooming in from. And if you missed this, hit hashtag replay. But I'm also going to need you to put hashtag smile challenge, okay? Hashtag smile challenge. I uh, would say 10 second smile challenge, but we want to make it a small and simple as possible. So real quick, got some things for you and not going to be long, but I'm going to be strong. But I need you, if you come on, I need you to get some, hit me some hearts, some likes and some shares. Cause I, I, I just want to get this out. I just want to have a, I don't know about you. I love a challenge and we need to smile. Now, listen, a smile. Listen, if you're going to be dressed for success, you have to have a smile. By the way, here's my acronym for SMILE. Seeing miracles in life every day. Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> come on. Is that good? Uh, come on, write that down. SMILE. Here's the acronym. Seeing miracles in life every day. Because sometimes people say, well, well what do you, what, what's the smile about? Man, you know, it's like one of my uh, guys that knew me way back when I was a uh, professor at a Bible college, also an evangelist, you know, traveling and so forth. But he, he said, man, before I knew you, I thought you didn't have any problems. He said, man, you were smiling all the time. He said, now that I know you, I don't even understand how you smile all the problems you have. And I said, well, Vic, I've got problems, but they don't have me. <laughs> and I said, and I have faith in my faith has me. Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> see, right? See, here, get this. See, see, most people smile if, you know, if things are going okay, they smile. Others smile because, right? Because like they got a raise on the job or, or because they started a new business or like my friend Henry today got a, a brand new grandbaby, right? Uh, uh, so some smile if, some smile because, but watch this now, if you're going to be a champion, you got to learn to smile like Dr. Breakthrough. You got to learn to smile in spite of. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody write that down. Some smile if, others smile because, but the true champion smile in spite of. Why? Because see, smile, again, stands for seeing miracles in life every day. What are you smiling for? I'm alive, right? It wasn't Les Brown said every day above ground is a good day. By the way, as of today, it's not my birthday, but it's my 23,250th day on God's wake up list. My beautiful, incredible mother only had 18,065 days. I'm already at 23,000. By the way, I almost died during COVID, but, but, but guess what? I found out the average person has 20,000 approximate breaths per day. So as of today, I'm at 464,660,000 free breaths, and the government hadn't figured out how to tax me. Now, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm saying I got something to smile for. By the way, uh, let's do the smile challenge. I just need you 10 seconds of smile. And, it, it, and if maybe you say, well, I don't like the way my teeth are, okay, smile with your mouth closed. But a smile, listen, my friend, you are not adequately dressed for success if you don't have the greatest accessory, and that is a smile. A smile costs you nothing, but listen, it could buy a lot of things. I'm going to tell you a crazy story about a smile. If you told the story, I wouldn't believe it. I have to believe it because it happened to me, and then I need to get go because, again, uh, just a 10-second smile challenge. Smile on camera for 10 seconds and then challenge 10 people. Put it on your social media. Put it on your short. Put it on your go live if you want to and tag at least 10, 20 people. Uh, do a Facebook, I mean, a YouTube video, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever you got, my friend. Let's just let's just get some people to smile, right? Just, just get them to smile. And uh, what was that one song by Kirk Franklin? Smile. Uh, listen to that, my friend, and get you smiling, right? Just think about the goodness of God to get you smiling. Those you in business, if your business is booming and checks are zooming, people say, what are you smiling about? Well, if you was in business like I was in business, or wait, will you smile? if you served the God that I served, if, if you knew he loved you, get this, not a million sins nor a million acts of righteousness can increase or decrease his love toward me. I got something to smile about. <laughs> 
But hey, listen, listen, listen. I know sometimes people are hurting and all that, but I'm telling you, my friend, sometimes I smile just to confuse the devil. Hello, somebody. Listen, I'm telling you, my, so many people are down and listen, no, 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 no. The Bible says in his presence is fullness of joy and at his right hand, there's pleasures forevermore. And I'm telling you, my friend, I'm telling you, as tough as it gets down here and as terrible as people get, Listen, you just need to learn to smile. The scripture says in Job, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. And I was like, how could he say that? Well, a couple of verses before he said, in destruction, he shall redeem thee. <laughs> in other words, you can laugh in advance knowing he's going to redeem you, right? Psalm 66, 12, thou, calls, thou hast caused men to ride of our heads. We got passed over. We went through fire. We got burnt up and through water about to drown. But, but cancers out everything that goes before. But thou bought us out into a wealthy place. I'm smiling because it ain't over till I get to my wealthy place. It's not over till you get to your wealthy place. Smile, 10 second challenge. Will you take the challenge? And then will you give the challenge to somebody else? It is 10 seconds. So I'll tell you the story and I got to stop. So I was on my breakthrough walk and um, my, my, I had a brother going through a rough time and, you know, he's suicidal. So he calls me and I'm, I'm kind of like, man, I'd already talked to him several times, prayed with him, ministered to him, set him up with another counselor. And I'm like, oh, and, you know, sometimes you just like, I just need some time to myself just to kind of decom. Just I'm on my breakthrough walk. I'm praying. I'm meditating. I'm thinking. And so anyway, but but so I, I encourage him and speak to him and, and show him some things and share with him some things. And, and, and I look up and this lady's coming my way and she kind of looked a little down. And I just smiled at her and said, hello. And usually, you know, now I say better morning blessings. Now, back then I'd say, you know, good morning. But now I learned to say better morning blessings. Come on, somebody. So, so, but watch this. And so I just waved at her and I, and, and we, we passed, right? Well, I'm talking to, to, to my brother, trying to encourage him and so forth. And, and uh, anyway, it's about, I don't know, a week later, um, maybe four days, a week later at least. But anyway, the lady, uh, same lady, and I didn't even really recognize, but, but she was coming, I'm walking and she's, and she's like, excuse me, are you a, uh, you, 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 are you a preacher? And I said, well, I'm a minister of the gospel. I'm a servant of the Lord. And she said, well, you saved my life the other day. I was like, no, no, ma'am, you got me mixed up with somebody else. She said, no, no, it was you. I said, no, ma'am, you got me mixed up. She said, no. And she said, you were, you were on the phone with somebody. And she said, I was walking by and you didn't know it. I was suicidal. I was on my way to kill myself. And she said, you smiled at me. And she said, you're smile. Just, it did something for me. And so I kind of followed you. You didn't know it. And I was listening to what you were saying to the person on the phone. And you were talking about how as long as you're alive, as long as you're breathing, God's got a plan and God's got a purpose. And anyway, you was, you was telling them some things about God loves them and everything. And she said, and because of your, your, your smile and your conversation, I decided not to kill myself. And I was like, whoa. Listen. Do you remember the story, the starfish that washed up on the beach and a, a guy was throwing them in and another gentleman was coming by. He said, hey, uh, what, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm saving starfish, you know. So he said, things out here, there's no way you're going to be able to save them all. You can't, you can't save them all. He said, I know. And he picked up one and threw it in. He said, but I just saved that one. I just made a difference in that one. He picked up another one. I just made a difference for that one. Can you just make a difference? 10 people just smile for 10 seconds. Just smile and then send it to somebody. Record it, send it to at least 10 people. Put it on social media and challenge people. Just 10 sec, take the 10 second breakthrough smile challenge <laughs> and hopefully Somebody else say, well, what are you smiling for? And you can share with them about why you're smiling, your, your Christian faith, your business, whatever's going on, let them know. All right, God bless you. All right, peace, break the divine increase. Give me a heart, give me a like, give me a share if you care. Who will take the challenge? Let me know.